What is your opinion of Kim Kardashian? Mm, my opinion, she is a baddie, beautiful as ever, okay? Um, her and her family, her sisters, they how they brainstorm, make all this money, their marketing. I think Kim is amazing. Ever um, had a chance to meet her? No, no, I have not. Now, Kim Kardashian has had several different products out before. Mm -hmm. Have you ever purchased any of her products? Um, I purchased her makeup. It was like a lipstick. How was it? It was pretty cool. It was pretty cool. A different color. It wasn't like my everyday color, but it was cool. She's also had fragrances. Mm, I've heard. Before in the past. Um, I don't know if you've ever smelled any of them before. No. But she recently just put out a new one. Mm -hmm. And I'm wondering if you're familiar with this or not. It's called KKW Body. I feel like I saw it on Instagram. I saw the, the promo and the advertising, but okay. I definitely never smelled that it. it wasn't when I go get perfume. It's not like my go-to. It's available on her website. Okay. KKWFragrance.com. <laughs> and uh, let's see what you think of this. We have it boxed up. Okay. So we have it hidden. Now it's the time to unveil it. <laughs> So go ahead and uh, grab Let's the box see. of perfume. Let's just see what Kim K has going on today. Now, we opened it slightly for you so you wouldn't okay. have any issues opening it. Okay. So before you even open it completely, mm -hmm. show us what the outside of the box looks like. Now, we, we unstrung it for you because you might have had trouble with that. But okay. uh, when you receive this, it's actually strung together. Like, okay. Yeah. Kanye definitely made the box. <laughs> you think so? We're a plain Jane. Me fly. It's a body. Okay, before you even smell it and open it, just take a look at the perfume and see what you think of just how it looks in its presentation. Mmm, sexy. This is real interesting. Better smell good if you're gonna have this, you know, this this hot body on the um on the whole bottle. I believe that is the cast of her actual body too. Wow. Okay, Kim. Nice. That's nice. Well, now is the time to unveil it and uh, see what it smells like. Get Let's your honest see. opinion on it. So where am I spraying it? You want me to spray it on myself, on my... Whatever you suggest. I love a good fragrance. Let's see. Mmm. What does it smell like? It actually like? smells really good. It smells like something. Hmm. Hmm. It smells really, really good. Are you able to describe that smell at all? It's like a little floral, but it's also grown and sexy. Mm. It smells really good. It smells like something I smelled before. Let me try it again. While you do that, let me give you a brief description off their website of what this okay. is. A narcotic elixir that offers an opening of bright, energetic bergamot, embracing a burst of juicy peach nectar. Mm. In the heart, the rich lusciousness of jasmine, Sam Beck meets the fresh beauty of rose. Elong Elong from Mohili lends texture and depth to the body that eventually dries to a rich and luxurious base of skin woods and musk that keeps the narcotic effect alive for hours on your skin. That is the description. Do you smell any of those things it just described? I definitely smell a little peach. Definitely smell that. It kind of it kind of smells like a <clears throat> like a sexy wine mixed with. I smell the peach. I don't know. It's real grown and sexy. It is grown like and a, sexy. Yeah, it's like a great mixture. It has a little floral scent to it, but it's still grown and sexy. I would definitely purchase it. Where would you rock the scent of something like this at? Hmm. Definitely on a date night. See, I'm real big on fragrances. I like to mix them, so it really depends on where I'm going. This is like floral but grown and sexy, so I would say date night. But if it was a little bit sweeter, just like an everyday, just outside. Certain season you would wear this? Uh, spring, summer, fall, winter? Mm. Maybe spring. I don't really wear the fragrances by the season, but definitely spring. It smells really good. Actually, as it's sitting in, I'm smelling it linger, and it's, it's really good. Mm. Definitely would purchase it. Now, you did mention uh, a second ago that you mix 
fragrances? Yeah, I mix fragrances. Yeah. What do you mean specifically by that? <clears throat> like I put on, what's my favorite? So my favorite mixture, <clears throat> excuse me, I like to start off with the Chloe and Love Story, and then I do the Aventus Cree for her, and that's like a dog, uh, amazing. That's a date night one though, like that's my favorite mixture. So you actually miss, mix two separate fragrances together mm -hmm. to get a new smell of its own. It's, that's a sexy, I just gave y'all an idea, ladies. That's a sexy, sexy scent. Lingers, stays on all day. Now, why do you do that? Did somebody give you an idea to mix it or you experimented yourself? No, or? honestly, because I have, like, I collect perfumes. Like, I have a whole bunch in my bathroom. And um, initially, I started mixing them because you know how you spray your own perfume and you never smell it? But when you go out, it's like, you smell amazing. What is that? <clears throat> Excuse me. So the times that I have mixed it, I get really, really good feedback, and for some reason I go that hard because I never smell it myself for some reason. But now it was I'm, just a little idea. I met a man one time that oh. says, and obviously you're a female, but I met a man that says he mixes his perfume. I mean, not his perfumes, his colognes, oh. because he said to me he never wants to smell like any other guy. Okay. On the planet. That's, that's he wants his own way smell. To think about it. Yeah, that's, so that's why he does that's it. That's why I should have never gave y'all my idea. Jesus. So now there might be some other people that smell like you. Right. <laughs> now, um, are you the type that uh, wears a certain scent until the bottle runs out? Mm, or are you just... No. Because mm -mm. I just run out of my... Um, I hate running out of stuff. Like I hate, I feel like I gotta replace it ASAP. So I don't use it until it's gone. Now, it's like I used to buy a fragrance every single month. So I got to the point where it's like, chill, you haven't finished this one. So now I try to like spread it out. Or if my friends will come over, it'll be like, they'll pick a scent that I haven't um, worn in a long time. And I'm like, damn, that's so good as hell. Like I need to wear that myself. So I stopped buying that many because I be neglecting the other ones. So I'm not gonna go OD because I got a lot of different options, so. I'm not going to definitely use it until it's empty, unless it's my favorite one, my go-to. Some fashion designers, they have colognes as well. Mm -hmm. And obviously they have fashion lines. Do you ever wear a perfume when you're wearing the actual clothes from that designer? Have you ever done that before? No, I have not. Just curious. I don't know if people watching this do that or not, but it's just something I always... Wonder. Yeah, yeah. I have not, no. Maybe like back in the day, I had a little what was this, high school little Adidas set and I wear a workout, but for the most part, no, I don't, I don't really pay that much attention to it for real, so, mm. nah.